Hi there. Now I'm assuming you've watched the previous video in this series where I showed you how we could use the Scalar Triple product to work out the volume of a parallel pipette. And in this example, I've got a numerical example that I'm going to work through. Or you might like to just pause the video and have a go yourself and just check uh, the work solution against mine. So remember when we had to find the volume of one of these parallel pipettes, we needed to take a vertex and have two vectors going along the edges of the base and another one coming up one of the sides, all from the same vertex. And clearly here in this example, they're all coming from the vertex A. So we need to get these vectors then, AB, AD and AE. And once we've got those, from that earlier tutorial, I showed you that the volume then was equal to the magnitude of the vector AE dotted with the cross product between the two vectors on the base, that would be AB crossed with AD. Okay, it doesn't matter if you do AD crossed with AB, we're taking the magnitude here, so it will be a positive value at the end. So we need to get AB, AD and AE. So let's start with AB, so we'll put here, so A to B, in the usual way, A to B would be O to B minus O to A. So using the coordinates here, subtracting them, what we get is the vector 1 minus 4 minus 2. Similarly, for A to D, let's do that one, A to D is going to be O to D minus O to A, and that's going to give us minus 1 minus 2 minus 2. And finally, A to E, so doing that, O to E minus O to A, gives us the vector 2, 0, 2. So if we next work out the cross product between the two vectors AB and AD, we've got AB crossed with AD, and that's going to be equal to the determinant then, put our unit vectors i, j and k up here, and then we need the components of AB, 1 minus 4 minus 2, so 1 minus 4 minus 2, and the components of AD, which are minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. And if you work this out, you'll find that you get the vector 4, 4, minus 6. So we've got that. Now all we need to do then is just dot that with AE and that will give us the volume. So therefore the volume is going to be equal to the magnitude then of the dot product between AE which is 2 naught 2. So we've got 2 naught 2 dotted with the cross product vector 4, 4, minus 6. And doing that, what we end up with is 8 minus 12. 8 minus 12 gives us minus 4. We're taking the magnitude of that, so obviously that's going to be 4. And being a volume, I'm going to put 4 units cubed. OK? Now in the next tutorial, what I'll be doing is showing you also how we can apply the scalar triple product to working out the volume of a tetrahedron.